He's here, fellas. What's good, family? So, mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. Oh no. Oh no. Here comes the controversy. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. I know you man think, oh, why be he loves conspiracy. But listen, this fell in my lap. Obviously, one of my inside dons sent me this exclusive leak video. No doubt. <laughs> it's bad right now. It's bad. Now, again. Let me say this right now. I don't believe, obviously, not believe, this ain't got nothing to do with Fury, to be fair to him. But, the facts are the facts. This is much more egregious than the famous Buster Douglas versus Mike Tyson case, yeah? Buster Douglas got knocked down by, sorry, Mike Tyson got knocked down by Buster Douglas. And Don King kicked off about that count. This count was legitimately, he only got to 8 and it took 14 seconds. And it was a genuine five second gap between number five and number six, between count five and count six, was legitimately four and a half, five seconds. What does this mean? Well, listen, what can I say? I'm not sure what the official process is. What we do know is, it's called a 10 second count. It's not called a 15 second count or or whatever count, or count to five, have a five second rest, and count another five. Now what's happened is, the referee, as we all saw, counted to five. At which point, I believe, Wilder, during them first five seconds, Wilder must have walked into the supposed wrong corner. Yeah? At which point, at the count of five, Wilder's walked into the wrong corner, the referee then spends five seconds telling Wilder, go to the other corner. At which point he picks up the count back at six. However, at, at the point the referee says six, it's really 10, 11 seconds. Now, even back in them times with Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas, the or original kind of boxing fundamentalist argument has been that it's not a 10 second count. It's a... What do they call it? It's not a 10 second count. It's 10 referee <laughs> things, if that makes sense. It's the ref's count. It's not 10 seconds. It's the ref counting to 10, not 10 official seconds. There's a difference there, if that makes sense. And in fact, we had this same kind of controversy in the first Wilder fight. Yeah, Wilder was arguing in that, was it 11th round, 12th round, when Fury got put down. He They were arguing that that count was long. Now... That was kind of borderline for me, and my argument back then in the first Wilder vs Fury fight was that, end of the day, Fury made it up. And it wasn't, it wasn't like, well, it was close, he was up. And to be honest with you, the same can be said today. Was it, did Fury really look like he was going to be counted out? If anything, the first fight was more controversial, because Fury was flat on his back. Today... Fury was never flat on his back. He was always on his bum and he was literally composing himself, getting ready to stand up. I believe if Fury, or if the referee had have cut the five seconds, yes, Fury may have been on wobblier legs, but he would have got up. He would have made it, 100%. Nonetheless, this does go away. There needs to be, and I, I can't lie to you, I was under the guise, or I was under the belief that when a knockdown happens, I always thought there was an outside counter as well. I'm sure there's, uh, I've been told otherwise, but I'm sure when someone gets knocked down, there's an official count. And then sometimes the referee can look over to it and then pick up. I'm sure that's what they're supposed to be. You man in the comments who know more than me, explain that. I'm sure that when things happen in boxing, there's like an official count. There's a man outside the ring and the referee can look over to him and pick the count up. I'm sure that's, I'm sure there's something about that. You man, let me know. But either way, 
That clearly wasn't the case here, because yes, the referee got distracted, but he didn't look over at this person I'm talking about to pick the count up. He carries on as if on to the next second. He stops at five, he tells Wilder to go into the other corner and picks up at six, five seconds later. Now, what I will say is, for all the years I've watched boxing, I've always, I've never really understood what is his fascination with being really strict on telling the other boxer what corner to be in. Yeah, at that point in time, in my opinion, the referee should have been focused on Fury. Fury is the one on the floor. Fury is the one you're busy with, you're busy caring for, if that makes sense. Whether Wilder is on the moon or in this co in the left corner or in the, who really cares at that point? Yeah, the referee, in my opinion, when someone's knocked down, focus on the knocked down fighter. When Fury's up and has made the count, and therefore you're about to re-engage the action, if that makes sense. Once you've done the counting, yeah, and Fury's back up, and you finish that part of, the, of your job, if you then realise, wait there a minute, Wilder's in the wrong corner, then you tell him, right, go to the other corner before we start the resume the match. It is a bit odd that the man's been knocked down, you're five seconds for a count, and then you've decided to move, to tell Wilder to move. What diff did it really need to be done at that particular point in time? What was the urgency to make Wilder move? Doesn't make no sense to me, to be honest with you. And it's, and it's things like this for me that I, I'm just hoping, well, I know what's coming next. Yeah, you man who have watched my videos, my post-fight reaction videos to this fight, we all know that Wilder refused to shake Fury's hand, he ran off, he didn't do post-fight interviews, and I've been speculating that, and kind of hoping not, hoping I'm wrong, at the fact that, is Wilder, given that he's been quite, what's the word, given that he hasn't given shown any respect to Fury after the fight, is Wilder cooking up some more excuses, bearing in mind that's what the precedent's been. Don't forget, more or less every fight after the first fight, the big thing was, oh, Fury got, got extra count. Fury was saved by the referee. He got extra count. After the second fight, it was all the excuses under the sun. And now we've got this one. Is Wilder, I'd feel a lot more comfortable, yeah, now, if Wilder had of given Fury his respect in as much as I'd have felt a lot more comfortable that Wilder wasn't going to pull no goofiness. Is he going to jump on this? The odds are he is. The odds are we're going to hear about this and we're going to hear he's going to put a claim into the commission. But that would be stupid. Yeah, Fury wasn't iced and the extra five seconds made a difference. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a shill. You might know me. Does the refereeing process need to be more stringent? Should there be an outside counter? I'm so, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but I'm sure there used to be that. I'm sure there used to be some sort of institution where, or some sort of third man who would st be on the outside and c carry the, make sure the count's official. I'm sure there was something like that. Either way, it wasn't used in this case. Or it, it would, yeah, maybe it doesn't exist. Maybe I've imagined it. Because he got to five, and then he messed around and carried on. Picked up at six. Picked up, picked up on six, and I've counted it. He. Stops at 5 and picks up on 6, at which point 10, 11 seconds have gone by. Which is means it's an extra 4 or 5 seconds added to the count. Which would make it a 15 second count. Now, again, ain't got nothing to do with Fury as such. But there does need to be, for the, for the sport's sake, there does need to be, just to get rid of the things like this. Things like this shouldn't be happening. Yeah, The referee got one drop. Do one thing at a time. Yeah, a count is very, it's very important. Especially when you've got a downed fighter, if that makes sense. You need to be concentrating on, on that fighter. Bear in mind, 10 seconds isn't a long time. Which means that, as a referee, you need to make sure, in them 10 seconds, you've thoroughly analysed the hurt fighter's body language, if that makes sense. If you... Do five seconds with Fury and five seconds with Wilder and five seconds with you ain't really watching. In that, in them ten seconds, that's gonna tell you, is this fighter okay to carry on? If you're looking left and right and all over the place, you ain't really got a clue what what's really going on in that fighter's mind, or you haven't. I mean, you haven't got a, re a clue about that fighter's health at that point in time. 
Never mind the integrity of the sport, which is what's in question now, essentially. Not to a massive degree, but it's the bottom line. This brings in the integrity of the sport when you've got little weird, unnecessary things like this happen. I understand we're all humans, but there should be some... I'm not sure what the rules are, but there should be some official process. When someone's knocked down, focus on the knockdown fire. Rada ain't going nowhere. You can fix him afterwards. And I can't lie to you. This is something that has been happening... Oh, I've noticed this. It's never been relevant to mention, but I, I, I always see this. I always see something happens, a knockdown, or something important happens in a fight, yeah? And the referees focus more on getting the other fighter out of the way. Like, what is that about? It happens every time. More or less, yeah, every time. In fact, I'm pretty sure it, sometimes it happens before the count. Sometimes I'll see a fighter knocked down, and the referee will tell the other fighter to move to the other corner before they start counting. In my mind, it should be count first, fix the other fighter later. But then again, maybe, I'm trying to think now, is there a rule that the count won't start until the fighter's in the opposite corner? Or something like that, I'm not sure. But if that was the case, he shouldn't have, sta he shouldn't have started the count, should he? He started the count, and then tried to get super fruity with it halfway through. That can't work. What we do know is, that certainly isn't in the rule book. Yeah, well, start the count and when you feel like it, start doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Don't make no sense. And this, for me, personally as a fan, this doesn't raise no questions. Would this change the fight? No. Fury wasn't ever going to be stopped. He would have got up, in my opinion. And it's, I think it's quite obvious. Anyone who's honest with themselves knows he would have got up. Now, that Wilder versus Fury 1 fight... You could argue he may not have got up. What do I believe? I believe he would have got up in the first fight. But you best believe he was getting up in this fight. He, he weren't that shot at all. We've Think about it. We've seen Fury get up from a lot worse than this knockdown. That said, I feel... I can't lie to you. This video... I was planning on going to sleep now. But then I saw this leak come through. And I thought, wow, I've got to pounce on this. Got to break, It's breaking news. Leak news. Yeah, obviously the YB's inside dons, they, yeah, they stay leaking. 24 hour leaks. Never mind WikiLeaks, 24 hour leaks. No doubt. So you might let me know your thoughts. And your boy will be back.